Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and I'm going to talk about a basic concept in recording that kind of messes people up sometimes, just due to a simple lack of understanding when it comes to recording in general, not just with Studio One, but we're using Studio One as our example DAW. So first of all, we're going to make an audio track, and you need to kind of understand that what comes up automatically is going to be based on what the last thing was that you chose. So if you had chosen a stereo track previously, that's going to be by default what comes up when you go to make a new track. So we've got a few different ways we can hit add tracks up here, add audio track, mono stereo. This lets you specify. And what I'm going to do now is to just right click. This is kind of the quickest way that I would do it and hit add tracks because we're going to work with the track dialog here. Now it comes up stereo by default. Again, like I said, you may have just previously recorded something in stereo. And so that's why it's set to there. But you got to remember if you are recording voice or bass guitar or a trumpet, any other sort of single channel mono type output instrument, you're going to want a mono track. So we hit OK. And we've got a track going to input one. If I record arm this, you can see we've got some signal happening here. Some things to understand about the way tracks work. If it's not showing, you can just sort of pull this down here and open it up. And now you have this button here for channel mode. If you do have a mono source, you definitely want to have that in mono. That's when it's a single circle. When you click it, you get an added shaded in circle to the left of it. And that means stereo. Now, if you take a look at this signal here, we've only got it in the left channel. And you may have very well had that same situation where you record something and, oh, you only hear it on the left side. Well, this is why, because it's only one channel driving it. But the way to fix that is just to simply make sure, number one, you're not monitoring from a stereo input. Just choose either one or two or whatever other stereo channel you're plugged into. And then make sure that your channel mode is set to mono. Again, that's just a single circle, not shaded in. And if you just remember these basic little tips, it'll help you avoid a lot of problems in the future before they even happen, just knowing which types of tracks to use. On the other hand, the same thing goes for if you're, you know, work with a stereo loop or just trying to record something in stereo. You'll just want to make sure that track is set to stereo mode and you're monitoring from a stereo pair of channels. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.